This is an example problem for Professor Mokadam's construction layout and site development course. In this problem, we're going to try to find the bearing of line AB and the bearing of line BC. The given information that we have is that we know the line AC is due north. It is a straight north-south line. We see that here, north, zero degrees, zero minutes west. So straight north-south line. We know its length is 132.999 feet. We know that the angle here at point A is 47 degrees. We know the angle at point C is 50 degrees. We know that A's location is at 200 north, 300 east. We know the line AB is 102.648 feet. So, first of all, let's look and see what we can do about this line AB. It's fairly easy in this instance because we have this north-south line here. We know that this line is 47 degrees offset from that towards the east. It's very simple. It's north. 47 degrees, 00, zero minutes east. Now, that doesn't really help us when we get to BC here. So for BC, let's see what we can do about this. First of all, we can go ahead and figure out what this angle is. Might as well solve that. We know there's 180 degrees in a triangle, and we already have two of the angles. So 180 minus 50 minus 47. We find that the angle at B is 83 degrees. Okay. What can we do here? The thing I think we should probably do is let's draw an imaginary line right here that is a north-south line. So we'll say that this is a north-south line. We have a north-south line here, and if we want to, we can extend that just to make that easier for us to visualize if we want. My straight edge isn't very long, so I'm making a little bit of a mess. But we'll say that that is also a north-south line. Well now, this line AB is passing through these two parallel lines. So we know that this angle here is 47 degrees. Why? Because this line's parallel with this line, a straight line's passing through, they're opposite interior angles. So 47 degrees here. Well now, we know the straight line represents 180 degrees, so we can take 180, we can subtract this 47, we can subtract 83, we're left with 50. And actually, we didn't even need to do that because what we could have done is we could have extended this line BC through these two imaginary imaginary um, parallel lines that we created here, both running north-south, and that would have told us, based on it being an opposite interior angle, that this would be 50 degrees. So now we know that the line BC is north, and it's facing west, so it's north 50 degrees, 
zero minutes west. And if we want to find the length of the line VC, we can do that very easily with law of sines. So we can take, uh, there's multiple different ways we can do it. Let's go ahead and take, um, let's take our given information here and do that. So 102.648 feet divided by sine 50 multiply by sine 47 because we want the opposite side length. So multiply sine 47 and we get 98. We have 97.9995. Since I've been working with three decimal places, that's going to round up and it's going to carry through. So 98 feet is the length bearing north 50 degrees west. And the bearing down here of line AB is going to be north 47 degrees east. Simple as that.